This afternoon in St. Helena Parish, for the first time, school leaders and the sheriff's office talked about the shooting that left a 16-year-old football player dead and two others injured. NBC Local 33, Sydney Simone is live this evening in Greensburg with more for us. Sydney? Good evening, Renee Jacob. Well, students were expected to return to the classroom tomorrow, but school officials did say that is way too soon. They're shifting their focus to healing as a community, coming together and providing mental health resources. To the St. Helena community, a senseless tragedy that we have seen on campuses around the nation struck here at home. What should have been a normal dismissal ended in tragedy, leaving the St. Helena community shaken to its core. One student is dead and two others are injured. Gunshots rang out in the football stadium parking lot located on the south side of the school where kids who drive to school park their cars. Following the tragedy, Superintendent Dr. Kelly Joseph says they're investing in new security cameras. We do not have a resource officer on our campuses, but we utilize the free rave panic button system provided by the governor's office that alerts key personnel when unwanted activities occur during the school day. When asked about bullying being the root of the issue, this was Dr. Joseph's response. You also have to understand that bullying doesn't just occur at school. Bullying can also occur within the community. And with social media and all of the other avenues in which kids uh, can communicate with each other, a lot of times schools are caught off guard. And I would say that uh, that could be a situation uh, here. Teachers and staff are back at school. When students return next week, mental health resources and licensed therapists will be available. There is distress in the community. And we will work with them as long as needed to ensure to the best of our ability that their emotional and mental well-being is settled. Now they did share that the 14 year old suspect did appear before a judge this morning via Zoom. According to Chief uh, Joe Cheney, he says he's in the Florida Paris Juvenile Detention Center and they're expected to hold another conference next week with the district attorney to address and discuss some of those missing details and information. Reporting live here in St. Helena Parish, Sydney Simone, NBC Local 33 News. All right, Sydney, thank you so much. Following Tuesday.